Ooh. Bingo. Oh, this. Yeah, uh, basically I was driving along this morning and I noticed that the airbag warning light in the car came on. See? And I looked in the manual and on page 121 it says, go to a professional immediately. I thought, oh, that sounds pretty serious. And if I haven't got airbags, I mean, it doesn't bear thinking about it. My life is just too valuable. I have some subscribers and stuff. So I was a bit worried until I found this in the boot. And now, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure I need airbag. Anyway, welcome to Cravnant here in Wales, which is a lovely, uh, lovely lake. I've forgotten the Welsh word for lake. Llyn. Uh, the reason I'm here is because every so often I get a message on Instagram or an email or something with a photo and somebody asking me how the person made that photo in Photoshop. And in the last couple of weeks I've had a few which have all been about very similar sorts of photos and it's the easiest possible trick in Photoshop. You'll have seen a variation of it. Essentially you just stand there with like a stick this is a terrible stick, but you stand with a stick and then your body above the stick you can see and below it you can't, it's, it's just invisible. We use fences sometimes and gates and stuff, uh, but yeah, I thought I'd just come and do that photo myself and then I'll be able to show you exactly how easy it is in Photoshop. A couple of issues, I will need a better stick than this and um, also, as lovely as it is here, this is exactly the wrong time of day to be trying to take a photo with the lake behind me on this side of the lake because the sun is just right behind me and, uh, and I'll obviously be really dark. I could go to the other side of the lake but there's loads of school kids over there throwing rocks in the water and stuff so, a bit scared. Anyway, first things first, find a replacement for that. Maybe in here. I got one, yes, yes. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> swallowed a fly. Yeah, I probably should go and find another location. Okay, found a spot in the shade, but there's only, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes of shade left, so I've got to hurry up. This image is so easy to get. All you need is two photos from the same position, same focal length, same exposure, and same focus point. And all that needs to happen is you need to be in one of them, and then the other one, you can't be in. And that's it, so let's go. One more. Okay, one more location. I'm not really enjoying battling the rising sun there. I think I know a good location, it's just a two minute walk up here, so hopefully I'm right. A uh, quick side note, this field over here, or one of them, is where I got the background shot for Zone 334, which to date is my best selling print. Well that took more than two minutes, and it was up a very steep hill, so I'm nice and sweaty for my photo shoot. Manual exposure, manual focus, and uh, I'm on a tripod so that the camera doesn't move either. Time for some trial and error. Oh, also, I'm in the woods now, as you can see, so I found much better sticks than this one, but I feel like I've bonded with this, so I'm not just gonna kick it to the curb. I think, I think I'm gonna stick with it. <laughs> to sum up, what's happened is I've called this video the simplest trick in Photoshop and I've now been to three locations and failed at all of them. The first two was because the sun was out and I couldn't get a good exposure across the whole frame and here in the woods, as beautiful as it is, the background is just way too distracting and it wouldn't be distracting if I could shoot wide open and blur the whole background but I can't do that because I'm using a self timer uh, and I'm trying to focus manually so there's no chance I'd get myself in focus doing that unless I use the app and I would love to use the app but my phone has just run out of battery. <sighs> Basically what I need to do is go to a location with really flat light and, uh, and nothing distracting in the background. 
<laughs> I'm at the beach, which I can always rely on because there's no distracting background. And also the uh, the sun's gone in, which happens a lot when you're on the beach in Wales. A couple of changes, it turns out after all that I didn't bond with that stick because uh, well, I left it at the top of the hill. And I did find a new one, but I've uh, I've just broken it by on the beach. <gasps> <sighs> this is supposed to be such an easy photo. Other changes, I've put a jumper on partly because it's cold and partly because my t-shirt is yellow and the sand is um, vaguely yellow. And also under my tripod, as you can see now, there are CDs, which I've spoken about before. Basically that's to stop the tripod feet sinking. Anyway, I'm, I must be boring you to death by now. Let's, let's just get this over and done with. That'll do. Time for Photoshop. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop and I've got to admit, I don't often do self-portraits, so it's a bit odd looking at photos of myself in Photoshop, but never mind. Uh, as you can see, I have two layers here. On top, I've got the layer of me with the stick, and on the bottom is the layer that I'm not involved in. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is just select them both. So I'll select one of them, and then hold down Command or Control on a PC, and select that one too. And now that they're both selected, I'm gonna go to Edit, and auto align layers. Now, as you'll remember, I was on a tripod, uh, but I was on soft ground or sand. So even when you're on hard ground, you know, if there's a breeze or whatever, it's always beneficial to run Photoshop's eye over whether or not the images are perfectly aligned. And sometimes you're not gonna get a perfect alignment, but it's worth going through that process just to make sure in this kind of image. Now, there's really only one other step to this, and that is to make a layer mask on the top layer, the layer with photo of me on it and just paint in black over that so if you remember from some other Photoshop tutorials black conceals and white reveals so if I paint black the part of me where I paint will disappear and obviously the more precise I am with this the greater the effect will be so I'm gonna paint everything that's under the stick to give the illusion that I'm floating and that the stick is some sort of disappearing I don't know, it's, it's a weird concept, but I've seen it a few times, so I thought I'd show you how to do it. Mm -hmm. 